What is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy DQ back at it with another YouTube video. I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel over the past few months. Really appreciate it. We are at 300 something subscribers, but three is my favorite number. So I only care that we have 300. So congrats to the family. Thank you guys very much for you know, believing in me, um, even though I haven't been uploading consistently, but I really appreciate all the love and support. It really does mean the world to me, um, it really does. But let's get into the video that y'all came for. <clears throat> <clears throat> so today we have a brand new um, model to discuss here. We have the Project Rock 6s in this uh, lovely blue and uh, different shades of blue. And we got a white midsole and a brown bottle. I'm not exactly sure what the colorway is called. Um, when I pulled up the, like when I bought the shoes in the store, it didn't have any colorways like on the, uh, on the box. It just said like Midnight Navy. So I'm going to assume this is just, you know, an unspecial pair of shoes. This is just unspecial because all the fives had names. So explain why this one doesn't have it. Right here, bang, get a close up, take a look at that. Yeah, looks beautiful. It's actually a beautiful design. I really love the design of the shoe. Um, these actually retail at $160, not the 150 that the fours and the fives retail at. Um, I believe the threes retail at 140. So you can see they're gradually going up. Um, you know, that's just how that's just how things work in the inflation market and especially when you're talking about shoes Shoes are always gonna go up in price because um, I mean cost of business sizing wise. I actually went with my true size. So I went with the uh, 11 and a half on these I actually wear a 12 in the fours and the fives So definitely try these out if you can in the stores, but this upper um, the new material on it is a lot more stretchy than what you're familiar with with other project rock models uh, the fives had that upgraded engineered mesh but that, as we know that was not very stretchy and it was not form fitting at all uh this upper right here once you put your foot inside it pretty much forms to your foot it's kind of like a little sock knit upper but much more durable um not like your fly knit that you would see typically sizing wise these are really good um comfort comfort was good for a lifting shoe it was I mean, it's gonna take some break in. Um, I think this is how most of these shoes work. Uh, the fours didn't take any break in for me, but the fives they took they took a bit of break in. These will take a bit of break in, but I actually really think these are functionally better than the the fives. Functionally, specifically, because when you're squatting in the fives, I noticed my foot is not exactly like locked down. I mean, like it's still good. The the heel lift that you get from the shoe is still popping. It's still spectacular. But with the fives, I just don't particularly feel like I'm locked into the shoe. Like when I put on a Metcon, it's locked in, game guaranteed. These, on the other hand, when I was squatting in these, I actually felt really secure. I was actually able to hit a couple PRs in these. So uh, these are good. These are very good. Uh, very flat bottom, which is what I love. I love the flat bottom. We have a nice thick midsole. Nice, this is a really thick midsole, like very juicy. So I really appreciate this. This helps with that um, that secure feeling. You don't get much ground feel, but you really feel locked into the shoe. So I, I really love that. Uh, again, we love the upper, the new upper. The actual design of the shoe is much better than all the other models in my opinion. This is like by far the best model they designed, um, hands down. I just love the, I, I don't know what this is called. This feels like, uh, this, this, this is some, I don't know what this is, but this feels nice. It's like, uh, it's just nice. <laughs> it's like, it feels like it's actual, uh, Jesus, I can't think. Leather? No, not leather. Um, rubber. Like, I, it might be rubber. So, yeah, this is very nice. It's like a rubbery panel, and then they, they threw the project nice and big. Look how juicy that, that, that logo is. So popping. This is actually my favorite feature of the entire shoe. Like, the way they just threw the juicy logo on the side, it just works. Like, it just worked. Even though I don't like the colorway, I'm not a fan of the colorway. The, the model, it just works. All the details. We got the tongue popping. We got the, you know, the, the gold, the gold accents on there. We also have gold accents on the midsole. A little speckling, beautiful detail. Um, take a look at the back. We got Project Rock vibes heavy. Uh, we got another Under Armour logo looking just as clean as the Project Rock logo, but you know, slightly less, slightly less, because it's not as thick. And then we got, what is this? Okay, we got the Under Armour clone. Um, I'll have to look that up on, on the on the site. I'm actually doing this cold turkey. I didn't actually look at the site for like all the material details, but um, I took a glance. I did, I'll be honest, I did take a glance. But so yeah, we have the like, clone um, marking. I'm assuming that's some technology that they're using in the shoe. 
uh, probably should know that. That would be helpful for you guys to know. And then we also have Project Rock on the inside embossed. And then we also have uh, updated design on the upper. So you'll see that the laces, um, we have little attachments here versus the fly wire they used to, or the little eyelets that we use on the fives. Actually, let me get my fives. Yeah, so the fives had the little round eyelets you can see right here. And then you can see like just based on the way the, like, you know, the way the shoe is designed, this is not going to go back to the way it's supposed to be. This is not form fit to your foot. So this is a much different material. It's more rubbery, um, not nitty. So that's why there's gonna be a major difference in the functional fit. I um, still love my five, don't get it twisted. Not get rid of them. I have three pairs of the fives, so I clearly love them. <laughs> I clearly, clearly were one of my favorite Project Rocks, but these are just a step up. They're a lot bulkier, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just gonna slip in the comparison here. So we got a little five on this side, and we got the other ones on this side, the other ones, the sixes. So boom, oh my God. So we got both side by side, take a look. Which model do you like better? Drop a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your answer. I'm looking into my mirror if you're wondering why I'm looking at the camera. Let me know which model you like better. I am personally, it's tough. It's really tough because the five is a well-designed shoe. It is actually very beautiful. This is why I own so many. But if we're talking about function, uh, I'm gonna have to go with these currently. I did order the black pair, a pair that I actually would like. Um, I'll put a little picture in there if you guys don't know what the black pair looks like. But um, yeah, they're pretty dope. They're pretty dope. Um, very beautiful design. I can't wait to get those in hands. I'll do an unboxing. I'm not gonna do another review because it doesn't make sense to review the same shoe twice unless you're doing like an update. So I might do an update with it, who knows? For you, it's also a wider toe box, which is what I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention that. This wider toe box is a game changer. It's a big difference. You can feel the wider toe box. I am all about wide toe boxes because when I'm when I'm squatting, I need my feet to spread out. Like I, I got to spread my toes out. It's the best way I can feel my quads if I spread my toes out. I'm, you know, my things are stuck together. We'll still get some activation there, but I can't feel like my mind. The muscle connection is not on point. When the toe box is thick, like look how thick that toe box is. Let's let's just compare. This is your toe box here. Because of the knit upper, this is going to stretch, so it gives you more room to work with. Versus this, you're kind of you're kind of sitting on the side, like you can see that. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job, but I'm trying to work the angles here. But look, it, like I have flat feet, so my feet will like this happens to my shit all the time. My shoes, Jesus, I'm trying not to curse, but it was my bad, <laughs> slipped out. So we got a little flap over action because my foot typically sits right around on the like it sits over all the time. These, on the other hand. Even when you flatten out the shoe, like, look, flatten out the shoe, comes over a little bit on the side. Hold on, I'm not doing that. This is the worst comparison you'll probably get on YouTube, but I'm doing my best. I'm trying to explain flat foot. <laughs> so, right here, you can see how this protrudes over the side of the outsole, or midsole, my bad. And then when you squeeze these down, it does the same thing, but look, look, at, the, look at the slight difference. If you guys understand what I'm talking about, please just confirm. I'll try to keep this part short, but whatever. Let's get into some details so you guys can take a look at the shoe. So we got that nice Under Armour logo right there, or Under Armour, Project Rock logo, looking beautiful. And then we got the front of the shoe with the gum bottom. Gum bottom is beautiful touch, beautiful touch outsole. Nice and flat, nice and flat, speckled on the midsole, thick heel. Project Rock logo on the front. Insole is removable. Let's take a look at the inside. I'm not sure if we can see that. So, removable insole vibes. Take a look. What a gander. Oh, and the box is the same exact box as um, the fours and the fives. Yeah, I believe the fours are the same box. Yeah. So the the bro the box rocks. The box for the Project Rock six is the exact same. Comes with the same stuff sticker. So I didn't pull the box out, it's nothing special. Like it's the same box if you bought the Project Rocks before. Um, and if you wanna see like the actual unboxing or something, I did um, post it on my uh, TikTok. So feel free to go over that. It is Dequeezy TV. Should be Dequeezy Fitness. Um, 
Yeah, I'll put it in the comment section or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, what did you guys think? What do you guys think of the shoe? Do you guys love this colorway? Or do you guys want a different colorway? Do you love the model? Are you excited to try the model? Have you tried the model? What's your favorite lift to do in this model? Um, what are you waiting for to make your purchase on the model? I don't know, for me, this is a no-brainer. If, if this was my first Project Rock shoe, I probably wouldn't buy the other ones, but these are good. These are good. For today, thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate your time. Um, and listening to me talk about shoes, um, we're trying to make this consistent, trying to get better every day. So I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and um, appreciate you guys for taking the time out of your busy days um, to, you know, see what I have to say about a shoe that you guys might want to wear in, um, wear in your lives and, you know, get those gains. So uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, uh, hit up your boy on TikTok, uh, Dqueasy Fitness, we should be. Uh, Instagram, Dqueasy Fitness, uh, Snapchat, Dqueasy Fitness, Dqueasy Fitness everywhere, except for YouTube, apparently, because <laughs> I have Dqueasy TV. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, appreciate you guys for watching. Have a good day, and stay godly. Peace. <laughs>